hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i am going to explain you about a problem related to kvl in the subject of basic electrical engineering in my previous video i have explained you what kvl is right that is the definition of kvl and how to solve problems related to kvl how to take the sign conventions I've explained you all those things. So before watching this video, I suggest you to first watch that video and then come here so that you will understand it in a more better way. Okay, so let's uh, get into the video now. Let's get into the problem now. So this problem is going to be a simple problem. So if you see the diagram, it doesn't look simple for you, but don't worry, I'll explain it. So what the question is you need to find out the potential difference between A and B in the given circuit where A is here A and B you need to find the potential difference between these two points okay so before that what so like we have several steps so what is the first step is you need to name all the nodes like we have different different nodes we have right so each and every node should be given a name okay so let us start naming a b already there so let us start from c c d e and f g this is f g and b is already named so h so we have named all the nodes now the second thing is you need to find the potential difference between a and b right so select the path in which path you want to go so what are the available paths we have a to c d e f g b this is one path and what is the other path a to e e to f and f to g and g to b and what is the other path you have a to e e to f f to h and h to b okay so these are the different paths you have so this is a very long path and a complicated path so you can eliminate that from these two you can select any of the path okay so i am selecting this path okay a e f h b path i am selecting got it so i have selected the path first step is to name all the nodes and second step is to select the path next once you have selected the path what you have to do is you need to calculate the current here we have i1 and i2 we should know the values of i1 and i2 in order to calculate in order to do the calculation right so now let us find out the values of i and i1 and i2 how do you find out the values of i1 and i2 using ohm's law ohm's law is v is equal to ir right from this you can get i is equal to v by r so by using this formula we are going to calculate the current so in this loop how many voltages voltage sources we have only one so you can directly take so i1 is equal to directly 30 by and how many resistance you have one two three you need to calculate the equivalent resistance how do you calculate the equivalent resistance you have to first identify whether it is in series connection or parallel connection since you don't have any breaks in between since you don't have any loops in between all these three are connected in series connection only so what will be the resultant equivalent resistance 15 plus 10 plus 5 series right you can directly add them 15 plus 10 25 25 plus 5 is 30 so 30 by 30 you're getting 1 1 so you get 1 amps i1 is equal to now let us calculate for i2 for i2 also only one voltage source so 20 by and three resistance sources but all three of them are again connected in series since there is no break in between so 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 10 is 20 so 1 1 you get 1 amp again so you got i1 is equal to 1 ampere and i2 is equal to 1 ampere got it we got the resultant current oh sorry i1 and i2 also now what is the next step that we have to follow we have to redraw the path that is which path we want to calculate the current uh, voltage so you need to redraw the path because we have selected a e f h b right a e f h b so this g d 
see all are not required for us so we can eliminate that and we can draw a simple path now let us draw how the uh, let us see how that simple okay. path looks let us draw it here itself so what what is our path a to e first a to e what is there in between resistor is there right that resistor also should be drawn next e to f while going from e to f in between you have a battery and you have a resistance okay next f to h while going from f to h you have a battery in between again okay so this is a e let us take and this is f and this is h okay and h to b so while going from h to b again you have a resistance so b now let us um, you know write what all they are so this is 15 ohms this battery is 5 volts next 4 ohms next 20 volts and 10 ohms now you have to calculate the potential difference between a and b before calculating the potential difference you have to in order to calculate the potential difference you have to write the equation right before writing the equation let us identify the signs so current it is coming in which direction in this direction i1 and this current this one is coming in this direction like in this direction i2 is coming okay so how do you uh, give how do you i mean how do you signs how do we give us current always flows from positive side to the negative side okay positive to negative positive to negative in the sense it is going in this way right positive to negative it is going plus minus again plus minus this one obviously by this sign we can identify for 4 ohms also plus minus again here also plus minus but this current is coming from this direction right so this will become plus and minus because current always flows from positive to negative direction so plus and minus you will get okay so we have given the signs also what is the next task we have to write the equation and solve the equations so that we can get the current sorry potential difference between a and b okay next so now let us Till do that. Now whatever I did, I guess you people are clear. First thing is you have to name all the nodes. Second, you need to identify path, like which path you want to go. Next, calculate the currents. And in the next, you have to redraw the circuit so that it will become easier for you. And once you redraw the circuit, you need to give signs okay, to all the elements present. And where you have to calculate the potential difference at each and every element you need to calculate the potential difference because in the previous video i said at each and every element present in the circuit there will be either a voltage drop or a voltage rise right so you need to calculate the potential difference at each and every element got it so at a let us assume that the potential difference will be va and at b let us assume it as vb okay got it now now let us see how to do like now what else is remaining just formation of the equation is remaining so starting from VA right VA next here you will get minus or plus plus to minus it is going plus to minus is always considered as minus right so 15 and what is the current associated with that I1 so 15 I1 ok minus 15 I1 next why 15 I1 you are taking? V is equal to IR, right? I is I1 and R is resistance 15 ohms. Got it? Next. We have battery. Battery directly you can write. You need not multiply with anything because it is voltage only. Here also you need to identify the sign. It is going from plus to minus, right? So that is why you will get minus 5. Next. 4 ohms. But this 4 ohms, you observe it in the diagram here. It is in the open circuit right in the open circuit current is equal to what zero in an open circuit there will be no current current flowing will be equal to zero so we will be applying cable only in case of closed circuits so this will become zero there is no current here minus zero plus zero whatever zero it is next 20 volts 20 volts positive to negative it is going right so positive to negative in the sense you need to take negative only minus 20 next what else is remaining 
10 ohms is for this 10 ohms it is going from minus to positive minus to plus it is going right so you will get plus 10 and what is the current associated with this i2 so plus 10 i2 you will get okay and last vb vb will be minus vb why vb we have taken as minus vb and why we have taken va as pluses we are assuming that va is at higher potential and vb is at lower potential we are assuming that is why va is positive and vb is negative okay now let us substitute the values we know i1 is equal to 1 amp and i2 is equal to 1 amp so let us substitute the same va and vb write both of them together which is nothing but the potential difference between va and vb minus 15 into 1 minus 5 minus 20 plus 10 into 1 right so you get VA minus VB minus 15 minus 5 minus 20 plus 10 is equal to 0. This is what Kirchhoff's law is, right? Algebraic sum of the potential difference should be equal to 0. So VA minus VB minus 15 minus 5 minus 20 minus 20 minus 20 minus 40 minus 40 plus 10 is minus 30 is equal to 0, which is nothing but VA minus VB is equal to 30 VA minus VB is nothing but VAB potential difference between A and B is equal to 30 what did you get positive only you got right so which means A is at sorry which means that A is at higher potential okay got it I hope this video is clear for you so first uh, if you follow all the steps which I told in the order you'll be able to solve the problem easily thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section and let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic and if you're having any particular problem and not able to solve it let me know through my Instagram or through my Gmail I'll try to um, give the solution or I'll try to make a video about it so let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel for more such videos